What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're in Sincero's Marsh, taking on EX2, and this is a tough one. This is a real toughie, um, but we've managed to clear it, and this is the team comp that we're running with. We've got Orthan as our tank, Miranda as our healer, Raven as our energy AoE damage dealer, and then we've got Jax and Anpu, who are both summoners, who probably shouldn't be in this fight, but we are able to get away with it. Um, they're both two of the strongest champions on my account, so that's why I've brought them in. Um, for the commander, we're using Kung Fu Panda, and it makes sense because we're running two summoners. Then we've got the dominant Nucleus because we're running two summoners. Then we've got Company of Heroes, which is one of my favorite prototypes for tanks. Helps them stay alive, but also means they can do more damage. And Orphan hits like a truck, so it just makes sense. And then we've got Flashpoint, which is going to help with our healing. And any excessive healing we do will be converted into a shield as well. So that's really nice. It's going to give us that extra survivability. Uh, let's go full hand, guys. Let's whack them all in. Uh, so it's not a full auto fight. We are going to have to manual some of this. So Anpu and Raven are going to be um, manual. So make sure you turn them off. And the boss is just going to do a big nuke at the beginning. But those, that big shield from um, Miranda is going to keep us alive. So we're going to start off with Anpu. Then we're going to get um, Raven to nuke these eggs. And you want to take those eggs out as quickly as you can. Go again with Raven. And let's be cheeky and sneak in Anpu as well. Just to do a little bit of extra damage to the boss. Speed up the run. And now it's just pretty much rinse and repeat. Um, so Orthan, he can be replaced by any tank. Um, to be fair, he's actually probably not the best option for tanks in this. And the reason for that is, is he does this big cleave and he just sucks everyone in. And when there's this, um, these spidlings will spawn outside the eggs, he can draw them into the boss. And if they, if they go just in front of the boss, they explode and they will wipe the team. So we don't want to do that. So we need to try and take him out as quickly as as possible um but yeah so all fans completely replaceable but i'm just a big fan like does a lot of damage really tanky and just like god tier god tier champion so just making sure we are taking out the eggs i just love the animation from raven R. just with that big hefty chain gun just plowing through the spiderlings just gonna make sure we take out those ones quickly as well gonna sneak in anpu again there we go and basically, if they hit with their ult, you'll notice that they get a massive uh, boost in their energy and they can just cycle around a lot quicker. So you just want to do that because it does help speed up the run and you can just sort of sneak in a few extra attacks on the boss. So now we're just going to hold on to the ults, wait for either spiderlings or eggs to spawn. There we go. And again, just going to drop a Raven's ult again. And they're down. And we're pretty much there, guys. Do you know what? Let's just go straight for the boss. 8%, 6%. Anpu again. And let's just look at the damage. Range. Look at Anpu. Always, always a boss. Look at that. Just like way, way ahead of the lead. And we got a decent amount of triple S um, commanders. Like commanders are huge in this game. You definitely want to try and focus uh, early on in the game focus gear when you've got a decent amount of gear go straight for the commanders because they will give you a massive jump for your account so let's have a quick look at the damage 41 mil from a boy and poo 35 mil from raven i mean it's not bad at all jack's doing 18 mil i mean again he could be replaced by anyone um it's just that he is probably the second best damage dealer i have on the account so that's why i'm using him and he's pretty tanky as well 5.4 mil respectable from uh, my boy Orthan, and then miranda obviously she's just there for the heals but 40 mil heals from her 28 mil heal from anpu and then 33 mil from jacks and that's just from their self-healing crazy crazy stuff going on so let's check out the builds um i will also show you um in my guild the guild technology 
So for tank, we've just gone for shield, HP. Um, you know, we've got some resistance as well. We've got some accuracy. We've got some uh, crit damage reduction as well. All nice stuff. Um, support, we've also gone for shield and HP. And then you can see the rest. Um, energy, it needs some work. We definitely need some work. Need some more attack. Need some more crit damage. But I always like to go for HP um, first just to give all my heroes that survivability, make them a bit tanky. Um, summoners, you can see I've gone in hard. And this is my favorite class. So I pump everything into this. So you can see that they're fully maxed out. And now let's check out the builds. So we'll start off with Jax and he's in a solid build. Like we're at, um, we're immortal. We are 240 um, level. And let's start with his gear. So we've got Hawkeye and then we've got Extraction. Amazing gear set on him. And we basically just want damage reduction. We want accuracy and um, HP. But yeah, solid, solid gear. 1 mil HP, 71 accuracy, and then 62% damage reduction. Max out on the exclusive. Um, talents, we have managed to just fully max him out. Then we've got my boy Anpu, who, yeah, I've I've definitely just invested so much into this guy. So we're immortal plus two. I don't think I'm going to push any further for now. Um, gear, we've gone for triple Hero's Edge. I am thinking about swapping out to um, Surge, but I'm holding off for now just because this build just works for me and I've done so much with it that I don't really feel like I want to sort of start swapping around just yet. But um, we are um, A7 now for the Awakening and when you get to there, you should really start to... Um, you should swap to search, but we're going to leave it for now. So we're looking for attack percentage um, and accuracy, and that's pretty itch. But we've got um, crit rate on the gloves, attack percentage on the boot, uh, on the helmet even, and then attack percentage on the boots as well. So 49k attack, 27 accuracy, quite low accuracy, but again, I'm, it, it lands. It's working for me. I might need to give him a bit more HP at some point. Um, he does need a little bit more survivability for some content. He's just getting dropped in campaign. 55% um, crit rate and 25% crit damage. And then 12, well, crit damage reduction, 12%, and then 3.2% on damage reduction. And then we got Orthan, who, yeah, so clutch. Again, uh, fully, well, immortal and uh, fully hyper-evolved as well. Um, we've gone for Opportunist, and then we've also gone for uh, Vigorious as well. So uh, we want damage reduction, we want HP, and we want accuracy on him. Got HP on the gloves, um, damage reduction on the helm, and then damage reduction on the boots. 1 mil HP, 55 accuracy, and then 68% damage reduction, and 51% crit damage reduction as well. Um, exclusive maxed out as well and talents again just fully maxed out and then we've got raven who we've got um plus two for awakening no plus three plus three for her awakening um equipment we've gone for uh burst which is a great set for her and of course um finishing it off when sun sucking it for that extra crit rate and for her we want crit rate we want crit damage and attack percentage crit rate on the gloves you want to, you know, you always want to hit that 100% crit rate, but we're working towards that. Um, but yeah, it actually is better to focus crit rate first before crit damage. And later on, I'll sweep, uh, swap these out for crit damage gloves. Then attack percentage on the helmet and attack percentage on the boots. Exclusive is only 18 plus. I should probably start to work on that a little bit. Um, you know, just to get that damage reduction. Damage reduction is probably the biggest thing on this. Obviously, uh, damage amplification and the attack percentage is nice. It's always good to do more damage, but damage reduction, you know, if you're dead, you can't do any damage. It's pointless. So it makes sense to um, try and get survivability always first. 
of course, maxed out on the talents as well. And then last but not least, we've got Miranda, and she is way far back. Um, I mean, considering she's only, what is she, Mythic plus two, she is getting a lot of work for us done. Um, yeah, and I like that she's farmable as well. So equipment, of course, we've got her in abundant for extra healing. And then we've got Vigorious as well. So we just want accuracy, HP, and damage reduction. So we've got HP on the gloves, accuracy on the helm, and then HP on the boots. 633k HP, 129 accuracy. Very low on the damage reduction, only 8.7, but need to try and work on that. Oh, weapon, can we, nah, not quite there just yet. But um, yeah, so exclusives only plus 10. Talents are, you know, down to four, fully maxed out. And then potential, we've only got a awaken plus one. Uh, so that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps some of you guys clear EX2. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.